Yes, tonight. Hi, Nancy. Oh, Lucinda. Oh, it isn't is working, Lucinda. It seems to be caught between floors. Oh, well, it better get uncaught because I have an appointment. I'm late. We have a <laughs> roof. Probably somebody is just pushing all the buttons. Help! Someone please get me out of here! That couldn't be. Right. Trust me, there's nothing to worry about. What do you mean? It's all part of the plan. What plan? The fake murder. Although Katie certainly never said anything about an elevator being involved. <laughs> and she told you that she was going to be killed? I shouldn't have mentioned it. You won't tell anyone, will you, Lucinda? Mm, not on your life. You can count on me. Who is that up there? Please, can you please just stop? Please stop. Somebody please help me. Can you please open these doors? Somebody help me. Who is that? Who's up there? What's going on? It's hotel maintenance, ma'am. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My life is in danger. I've got to get out of here. What are you doing? I've got to get out of here. Don't worry. Don't worry now. Whatever the problem is, we gotta get out of here. Of it. I don't think you understand. This elevator is gonna drop at any time now. Ma'am, ma'am, there's no reason to panic. You don't That's understand, just, please. Just I heard somebody trying to cut the cable. Well, me? That, that was me. No, it wasn't you. I know what I heard. Out. Come on, please. Will you just help me out? Try to help me out because we're both gonna die. Please. used to be, but not too shabby. Nothing like getting engaged to make a girl feel better about herself. Hey, preppy! You ready to go to the farm and get down and dirty? Um, no. What's the matter? I, uh, I can't catch my breath. You sick? Yes. In love. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See that room? You know that room mm -hmm. back there. The bedroom? Yeah, the bedroom. When we get back from Emma's, I'm going to show you a heavy corner of it, and maybe even the ceiling. Well, I'm ready right now. Mm. Uh, everybody's waiting mm. for us, and Papa's coming in from Jersey, so... and, and Emma's making all this food, and... Mm. That's going to have to hold you. Okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or anything, but uh, what's gotten into you? I don't know. Maybe maybe seeing Dr. Weston in handcuffs got me a little turned on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that snake. Mm. I know what you mean. I can't help thinking, you know, now that he's been arrested. Ah, uh, I don't want to even think about it. Oh, good. Maybe he can help you? I don't want to get my hopes up. Uh, it doesn't matter. Because I am going to love you either way. Mm, you keep saying that. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to believe you. So, ready? Yeah. Ready to tell your dad about our engagement? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be thrilled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you mind uh, walking to Emma's through the meadow? Mm. Really, really, really like wildflowers. Okay. <laughs> yes. <you> okay. Got...
Where is he, Margo? Who? Jack. Beats me. He's questioning Stenbeck, isn't he? Say, do you hear the results of the National Chili Cook-Off? Turkey and beans won again. My fave. Can't be beans. <laughs> Oakdale police met an arriving passenger at the airport. He was wearing handcuffs with an FBI escort. Now, if that wasn't Stenbeck, who was it? How do you know these things? I'm in the newspaper business. We have a stringer there. Good. Then you go ask your stringer. No, 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 don't do this to me, Margot. I deserve to know. Why? How do you figure that? Because I have been an integral component of this investigation since the beginning. If it wasn't for me... We don't have Stenbeck. I'm not going to tell you anything more. Go away. Is it Weston? That madman who ruined Carly and Emily and Rose? All right? Does Carly know? You might as well tell me, Margot, because I will find out. Come here. What's the time? Hey, what's the slow coming? Golly. We may or may not have Weston. If you breathe a word of this to Carly or anyone else, you're dead meat. Well, that is excellent work, Marco. But I just have one question. How did you do it without me? Oh. We don't want any. A few of Parker's clothes and toys. Are you sure you don't want them? Nice try, but I already picked his things up. Well, I found some more. They were spread out all over my suite. That's right. I forgot, you gave him all the love that money can buy. Do you want these things, or don't you? Oh, my, my, what have you got in here, a solid gold dump truck? Please tell Parker I said hello. Hey, you don't honestly expect me to believe that the only reason you stopped by was to give me this. Oh, yes, I'm supposed to have an ulterior motive. Yes, of course you are. You want to see where Parker's living. You want to pass judgment on the home that Jack and I are providing for him? Well, come on in. We might as well get it over with now. Are you sure now's a good time? Oh, sure. Us po folks always have time for company. Hey, Jack, shoo the pigs out of the living room. We got us a visitor. You like playing games, Dr. Weston? I was a uh, district chess champion when I was eight years old. Oh, very good. Very good, then you shouldn't have any trouble understanding these rules. I want you to do whatever it takes to reverse the damage you did to Carly and Rose and Emily when we find her. I want you to work as quickly as you can and to the best of your abilities, or I'm going to shoot you where you stand. Uh, well, that's, that's very bold, detective. What are you doing? I'm playing the game. It's your turn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're an officer of the law. You can't shoot me. Do you want me to go over the rules again, or are you going to start playing? No, w w wait. Look, l let, me, let me explain. I don't want an explanation. I want results. Look, it, it's not as simple as that. I need a, a, a laboratory. I need certain... Stop doing that! I'm sick of playing this game alone, doctor. Now, are you going to start playing with me? Or does my next bullet find a target? As the World Turns is brought to you by J.C. Penney, celebrating 100 years of timeless values and the generations who've made us a part of their lives. It's all inside J.C. Penney. Happy Mother's Day. Celebrate Mother's Day with J.C. Penney. Save 20 to 60 percent on elegant jewelry. 30% on Worthington silk separates and 25% on sleepwear. It's all inside. J.C. Penny. And now, Mary Englebright stationery in a collectible tin, free with $50 purchase.
New Trident White. Smile brighter. I am one of the many people. We used to think they're frequent, persistent heartburn. It's just plain old heartburn. But if you've treated your heartburn, changed your diet, and the pain still comes back two or more days a week, it could be from acid reflux disease. And over time, that acid churning up can wear away the lining of your esophagus. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Today, there's a purple pill called Nexium from the makers of Prilosec. For many people, one prescription Nexium a day means complete... 24 hours. Day and night heartburn relief. And Nexium is also proven to heal erosions in the esophagus caused by acid reflux. Only a doctor can tell if you have this damage. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. The most common side effects of Nexium and Prilosec are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Talk to your doctor and call this number for more information and a free Free trial offer for Nexium. Relieve the heartburn, heal the damage. It's possible with today's purple pill called Nexium. We are a smooth operator, a real cool, sweet shaker. Stir me, baby, cause I'm all mixed up. Kiss me, honey, come and fill my cup. Slim, fast, fresh, don't you hold back. Slim Fast Powder. Shakes you make nutritious calcium rich meals to help you manage your weight. Ooh, la la la. I like it like that. Slim Fast. It's your life. Feed it right. This month, Dave's All New with Jennifer Lopez, Kid Scientist, Natalie Portman, Stupid Petrix, and Liza Minnelli. Tonight, don't miss Hugh Grant. The latest cast off from Survivor, tomorrow on The Early Show. Mm. Joe D'Angelo is going to be in heaven. That cherry cobbler just smells so yeah. delicious. Now, I have makings for another one. Do you think this is enough? I think it's okay. I'll, my appetite, though, has been increasing. Okay, I'll start medicine. another. No, it's plenty. I'm just joking around. I can't wait to have Okay, some. in that case, I want you to sit down. Come and sit down and get oh. off your feet until Joe gets here. Your legs must be killing you. What? Is Holden telling you this? He didn't have to tell me. I can see you're carrying low, and it puts a lot of pressure on yeah. the legs. And another thing. Means you're gonna have a little boy. <gasps> yes, you are. So you better start thinking up names right are you now. Kidding? Are you are you gonna take out a wedding ring and just I dangle it over my stomach that, that way? I don't have to do that. You know, you don't don't make fun of those methods. I mean, the only time they don't work is when the woman doesn't believe in them. Oh. A little boy. Okay, little boy. all right. If it's not a boy, I'll just tell the sonogram person. I said that's it. You're fired. Ooh. Big fell asleep upstairs, so I'll just have to wake her up. Okay. And we'll be done. Sounds good. <laughs> You gotta make sure the gasket is real tight, guys. Hey, too tight. Well, I, think... I know. You'll break hey, the seal. Hey, grease monkeys. What's going on here, huh? You guys better uh, wash up before the guests get here. Why? Is it formal? <laughs> uh, uh, comedian, huh? <laughs> Look a little nervous. Ah, uh, me nervous? I swore to D'Angelo. I believe I'm nervous. I mean, this is the first time Pop's gonna see this face. On the outside, he's gonna pretend everything's okay, but on the inside, he's gonna be a, he's gonna be upset. Well, you so. know what? I wouldn't worry about that. He's gonna be too busy giving his future son-in-law a hard time. <clears throat> oh. Got a couple of butterflies in there? Yeah, well, he knows I'm a stand back. Doesn't matter. You make me happy. That's all Pop is gonna need to hear. We'll hold off on that until you cleaned up, okay? Mwah. And these are for you, oh, right from your mouth. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so is this. Oh, thanks yeah. a lot. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank hey, you. How you doing, Paul? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Have hey, you met my son, Aaron? Hey, yeah, we saw each other. I'm Paul. Good to see you. And you don't bother getting up. You're pregnant and all. How are you feeling? I feel wonderful. How about you? A night like this, how else can I feel but blessed? Amen to that. Amen. It must be Pop. <gasps> How do I look? Uh, don't even bother answering that. Uh, Aaron? How do I look? Awesome. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> you and me are gonna get along great. <laughs> oh. I prayed for you every day you were gone. And I thank God every day that you're all right. I'm doing fine. 
You have? Never better. Yeah, I can see that. Hey. What? What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to kill me? No, don't you remember the rules? I said I was going to shoot you, not kill you. Now, let's see. I shoot you through the hand. That pretty much ensures the fact that you're not going to do any more surgery. Or maybe I could start with the kneecaps. Shall I go on? Uh, you, you're out of your mind. No, no, I'm not. I'm just one ticked off cop. Do you want to pick the first spot, or shall I? No. Look, you won't, be, you won't get away with this. Oh, no. No witnesses. All I have to say is that you were trying to escape. Tell me something, doctor. Have you ever heard a bullet hitting a shin bone? It actually sounds like a tree branch cracking no, in All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll do the procedure. Very good. More? I, 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 will, I will do it quickly and to, to the best of my ability. Very good. What equipment will you need, doctor? I will need a, a sterile work environment, a, a nurse to assist me, and I will need certain certain compounds, uh, both chemical and herbal. It wasn't so hard, was it? Don't move. Yes, Jack. Listen, Weston has agreed to reverse the effects of his work on Rose and Carly. What did you do to him? Oh, we played a little game, and I won. Listen, you're gonna have to call Bob Hughes in Memorial. Weston is gonna need an OR and a nurse. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. He's also gonna need certain chemicals and herbs. I'll get a list of the hospital as soon as I can. You know, this is, this is so great, Jack. This is, this is good news, good work. Nothing's happened yet, but if all goes well, tomorrow will be a happy day for all of us. It's, I'll see you soon. Whew. So what's the great oh, news? Frank, would you stop hovering over... I gotta make a phone call. Well, listen, if this involves Carly, I'm not going anywhere. This does not leave this room, right? Right, you have my solemn oath. <sighs> we do have Weston in custody. And he says that he can reverse the damage done to Carly and Rose. So if we get clearance from the hospital, he's gonna operate on them. <sighs> Well, uh, that's, that's everything I could wish for. Okay, I gotta call Bob. Now, Craig, remember, you have given me your word. Let's see if it's actually worth something. Sorry to disappoint you. The rats must be in the kitchen eating the leftovers. I don't know where this is coming from. Have I ever suggested that you did not provide a good home for Parker? Not to my face. But what else is new? You're trying to read my mind, Carly, and you've never been very good at it. Why don't you go upstairs? Maybe you'll find Parker playing with the electric knife I bought him for Christmas. Well, thank you, but I think I'll stay down here for a little while and admire the renovation. It's lovely this place has changed quite a bit. Do you remember when I saw it last? Obviously, you remember enough for the both of us. I thought you put Mike Kaznoff behind you. That was an innocent remark. I did not mean to stir up any bad memories. I didn't realize we had any other kind. I know that there's a lot of backstabbing in our history, but don't you think we could put that behind us? I'm really trying something new here, Carly. Ever since I've come back to Oakdale, I've done everything I can to prove to you that I can be trusted. I'm not buying it. I do know an act when I see one. An act? Yeah. According to what you told everybody, you came back to town to take care of Parker while I was away. Well, I'm back. You're still here. How was I supposed to do my job? 15 newborns and a migraine. My medicine just dulled the pain. So I talked to my doctor. He prescribed Imitrex. Imitrex targets your total migraine. The pain, nausea, sensitivity to light and sound. Some pain relievers are made for general kinds of pain. Imitrex is targeted. It was the first medicine of its kind believed to target the nerves and blood vessels that can trigger migraine without drowsiness. And it's recognized as an effective treatment by the National Headache Foundation. Imitrex is not right for everyone or every migraine. 
If you have certain types of heart or blood vessel disease or uncontrolled blood pressure, you shouldn't take Imitrex. Very rarely, certain people, even some without heart disease, have had serious heart-related problems. So talk to your doctor, especially if you have risk factors for heart disease, such as smoking, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, or if you're pregnant, nursing, or taking medication. I can't let a migraine call the shots. Talk to your doctor and target your total migraine with Imitrex. <laughs> Wizard Scented Oil. It brings a unique freshness to your home. You can control the fragrance level to create a long-lasting magical atmosphere. Scented Oil from Wizard. Fragrances that change your world. Sometimes you find extraordinary things where you least expect them. Case in point, mopping the floor. Introducing new Clorox Ready Mop all-in-one mopping system, complete with Clorox floor cleaner and disposable pads. Simply squirt and mop. With just one mop pad, I can clean my kitchen, utility room, two bathrooms, hallway, entryway in 10 minutes. Just the fact that it is Clorox, you just have this feeling of it's really clean. New Clorox Ready Mop. Safe on wood, too. How hot are Old Navy summer shorts? To find out, we tested them on the sun. They're scientifically engineered for the whole thermonuclear family. Fun in the sun? Oh no, my friend. Fun on the sun. Old Navy summer shorts are guaranteed to keep you cool at sizzling hot prices. Just $5.50 to $24.50 for the whole family. Only at Old Navy. Is it hot up here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, why don't you say hello to somebody else? I got something in my eye. <laughs> Hey there. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Hello. Welcome I back. I smell that cherry cobbler two miles down the road. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad. Need it for you especially. <laughs> hey, Mama. How are you feeling? Good. Could I? Sure. It's gonna be a boy. I told you, I told you. Oh. <laughs> Would you guys do with Luke. Send him off to boarding school or something? Well, they did, and I'm here. You? Oh, sorry, <laughs> son. But Luke's just a little fella, and you... Now, what did you go and get so big for, Luke? I hardly recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again, Joe. Let me introduce you to someone. This is my Aaron. son, Ed, right? Like I would know that you were holding son. Jody Angelo. Ah, pleasure to meet you. Hold on a minute. I know you. Uh, Peter. Phil? Not funny. Paul! That's it! Still chasing after my little girl? Yeah, yeah something like that. So, what's with the shades? You got Hollywood on me now? The shades? Oh, sorry about that. Um, I've been wearing them so much lately, I forget I got them on. Hey, there. Better? What happened to you? Would you believe it? I wake up in the middle of the night and I walk right into a door. Which one? Uh, oh, uh, uh, the closet door. Yeah, the oh, closet yeah. door. I, I left it, I guess I left it open oh. before I went to sleep. Yeah, is that so? Well, yeah. the door must have been really peyote at you, Pop. I realized the handle was in the shape of a fist. Please, please, try to be patient. What was that? Uh, probably a... 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 No! Oh, no. Stand back, everybody, please. Get, give them some air. Uh, You're still alive. Oh, my God, I am. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, was I think it, I'm okay. It's a good thing that you weren't on a higher floor. I mean, otherwise, who knows what would have happened? Can you get up? Yeah, I think so. Let's get this woman on her feet. Oh, thank you. Now, be careful. Be careful. She's, she's very delicate. Is anything broken? No, no, I don't think so. Oh. Thank you. 
Now look here, uh, my friend. This young woman is going to need medical attention immediately, and I mean that quickly. Now. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, dear. What happened? What happened? I, I thought the whole world was coming crashing down on our heads. I told you. Yeah, but I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. Somebody's trying to kill me. Any other questions? Is Simon hiding? Simon? What are you... I don't even know where he... No. No, he couldn't have been. Write down what you're gonna need. Yeah, I think it's only fair to warn you that, um... Well, is this, uh... There's no guarantee that this procedure will, will work. What do you mean? Well, Rose and Carly are at different uh, stages of the process. Carly's skin, well, it, it already has been seriously compromised on the cellular level. Yeah? Well, you caused it. You'll find a way to fix it. And, of course, the, uh, the chemicals, they, res they react differently to different people. Yeah, well, then you just have to make adjustments, won't you? Right. What, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you sure this isn't going to make them worse? Well, uh, no, there's not much chance of, uh, of that. You, you see that the whole purpose of my research was to help people look young. And in doing my, my studies, I... I, I discovered quite a bit. I studied how they aged, and I learned a lot. However, there is still quite a bit that uh, does remain a mystery. You better know what you're doing, Weston. I want Carly and Rose to wind up looking exactly like they did. Yes. Yes, and I, I will do my best, as I said. There is one thing I want in return, however. No, we had this conversation at the station. You, you are in no position to make deals. Oh, I disagree. Yeah, I, th I think that my position is rather strong. Yeah, and why is that? Well, because if you injure me in any way, I will be unable to perform the process. And if that happens, well, Rose and Carly will continue to languish. Their, their spirits will, will fade. Okay, all right, fine, I'll listen, but that's it. I happen to know that you've got contacts with the FBI. Call them. Get them to make a deal. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, man. You got nerve. Oh, then you'll do it. No, I won't even consider it. Well, then I won't be needing this. Do you think I was kidding when I said I would shoot you? <laughs> you kill me, any chance of restoring your lady love's face dies with me. I didn't think it would be good for Parker if I left Oakdale the minute you got back and you just got out of the hospital. Suppose you've had to return Parker for Parker is the cover, Rosanna. I know that. You have an agenda. You always do. I'm trying to keep in mind that you are still upset about your condition. And I want you to know that I have been praying that this Dr. Weston will be found. But you've been praying? To what? You know, it's obvious we're not going to get anywhere today. So while I'm here, do you mind if I see Parker? For how long? A few minutes, and then I'll go. Okay. Upstairs. Thank you. The lady up there is Sandy, the nurse, Jack Hard. You can pick her brain all you want. I'll take this upstairs for you. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Really? Why? Weren't you frightened enough the first time? Frightened? Yeah, of me, of my face, of the way I look. I never told you I was frightened. You didn't have to, Craig. You took one look at me and you raced to the exit. I was trying to give you time to adjust. Oh, really? Yeah, that's you. Always looking out for the other guy. Be fair about this, Carmen. You know something, Craig? I stopped to believe in unfair about 500 wrinkles ago. No, 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 no. Car Car Carly, Carly, when you were gone, I never abandoned you. And I'm not going to now.
That's 400 years of grime. As an art restorer, I do know a thing or two about stains. That's why I tried Crest White Strips. It's this thin little strip with the same whitening ingredient dentists use. 30 minutes twice a day. Crest White Strips get at stains below the enamel to whiten teeth 10 times better than the leading whitening toothpaste in just two weeks. And it lasts at least six months. With Crest White Strips, I want to show everyone this work of art. Crest White Strips. Reveal your wider smile. With its spinning head and stationary bristles, Crest Spin Brush cleans circles around an ordinary toothbrush for superior clean, guaranteed. And now, with replaceable heads, it's developing a superiority complex. Crest Spin Brush, a better spin on green. I'm doing it on my way to work. At work. I'm doing it while I get ready. Today, over 4 million people have done Crest White Strips. Thin, flexible strips make it easy to whiten your teeth almost anytime, anywhere. In just two weeks, you'll get a noticeably wider smile that lasts at least six months. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Crest White Strips. Reveal your whiter smile. Guaranteed. By now, your Gerber baby can tell you what she wants. Look. But not what she needs. Like Gerber Graduates Pasta Pickups, a delicious source of protein. Now she can feed herself without the saucy mess. Thank you. Shouldn't your toddler still be a Gerber baby? Hello? No, I can't save you money on car insurance. You want Geico, not Gecko. Well, that's uncalled for. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. At Geico, we get the ball rolling on your claim quickly. Even in the middle of the night. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Next week, the history of parsley. Hey, Teach, I'm not sure why I got 29, Ron. Uh, 29... Now can one use tofu to make a lighter dish? You wrote, I can trade it in for chicken. Uh, shrimp? The Friday's take on eating light? It should never be light on taste. So try our new pecan-crusted chicken salad. Eat what you love, love where you eat at Friday's. CBS Tonight, it's a murder case so big. It's chief of detectives. CSI will travel from Vegas to Miami. In Florida? Two cities. You guys get a sick one. Two CSI teams. It's a match. One killer on the run. I got a blood trail. David Caruso guest stars. I got a bad feeling about this. On an all-new CSI, CBS Tonight. Then, the price of freedom may cost one CIA agent his family and another his life. He's behind you. Matt! Agency season finale after CSI Tonight. I told you there was no lost coaster in Superstition Mountain. The only one lost is us. What's that? Oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> Visit Indiana Beach. Buy one ride package and get the second of the same free. Don't miss the giant flea market May 17th through May 19th. And lighted boat parade May 18th. You can win this Yamaha Wave Runner. Indiana Beach on beautiful Lake Schaefer, Monticello, Indiana. Proving once again there is more than corn in Indiana. Woo-wee. Let's get lost again. Oh, no, Arthur. <laughs> Cable taking you for a ride? Hop in. You'll like where we're headed. Call Satellite Sales and Service and get up to four rooms of DirecTV for $9 per room install. Two rooms, three rooms, four rooms, the whole house. No matter how many TVs you have, we've got the latest high-tech, low-price solutions. Call now and we'll install it in 24 hours or the first system's on us. DirecTV for up to four rooms, just $9 per room installed. But hurry, offer good this week only. Call 1-800-34-BUY-ME. I'm James Patterson. In the past year, thousands of readers have stopped me on the street or emailed to tell me what they think my best book is. Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas. It'll make you cry. It makes everybody cry. Do you believe what R. Kelly has to say? Chicagoans react at 5. Don't miss Mary Tyler Moore and the gang for an all-new reunion special, CBS Monday. I know Jack was your savior, did everything he could to try to save you, but so did I. 
including risking my life on more than one occasion. I know how you operate. You've never had a problem taking credit for somebody else's work. You're telling me that nobody mentioned the efforts I made for you? No, nobody mentioned any efforts because you didn't make any. I obsessed about you and your safety. And when the police couldn't do anything, of course I did. Sorry, what? I stopped listening about five minutes ago. No, hey, hey, well, who is the person who brought Parker to see you in the hospital? You. For that alone, you should hear me out. Oh, two minutes. All right, good. Once Parker uh, got your postcard, I sent Simon to France. I had myself shipped to Marseille in a coffin. Excuse me. So I could talk to the pilot that was working for Stenberg. That is absurd. You would never put yourself in that situation. That situation and more. I rescued Jack when half of Fairwinds uh, fell on top of him. Did he tell you that? No, he didn't tell me that, but it's a fabulous story. All right, well, listen, I flew to, Ro uh, to Brussels to save Rose. I discovered Stenbeck was faking a coma and broke him out of the hospital uh, in exchange for your safety, huh? You don't believe me? You ask around. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Even you know better than to make a deal with James. He doesn't hold up his end. I had to. He had you, and I was desperate to find you. Then why didn't you? Because he drugged Rose and me, and I woke up and saved us both. You don't even like Rose. I'm not that fond of Jack either, but I saved him again when his insane ex-wife tried to kill him. Carly, I could go on, but two minutes isn't exactly long enough when your list is as long as mine. And you say this can be verified? Ask Jack! I know that you are with him now. But Carly, I never stop loving you. And now? I love you. That hasn't changed. You know something? Nothing's changed. You will still say or do anything to get what you want. What do you want? You tell the FBI that, uh, I will relinquish my American citizenship. I will allow them to deport me and I'll sign whatever they want to guarantee that I never come back. <laughs> no, they'll never go for that. I am a scientist. I'm, I'm not a spy. No, you are a criminal and a murderer. Oh, no, 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 no. Almost all of my patients, well, they were, they were terminally ill before I started what? working. Not Libby Mueller? No. She was an 18-year-old girl that you aged right into a cemetery in Belgium. Libby, Libby, Libby was a special case. I had every... No, I tell you, I don't want to hear this! All about it tomorrow, after you make Rose and Carly exactly like they were. I'll write your list, doctor, and make sure it's complete. You don't like, uh, depending on me, do you, detective? Hell, I don't like breathing the same air as you. Any soreness? Uh, yeah, a little. I'll give you some aspirin. Difficulty breathing? No. Oh, no. I think I'm fine, really. Well, call your physician in the morning if you experience any more discomfort. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. Well, dear, I really should be on my way. Too oh. bad your murder plans got messed up. Okay, better luck next time. Thanks. Nancy. And my daughter is going to want a full accounting of this whole incident as soon as possible. Did you find out who cut those cables? Uh, uh, the, the cable was not the problem. Oh, then what was it? Uh, it looks like the hydraulics. Would you excuse us for a moment, Lucinda? Thank you. Please tell me that you didn't see Simon running around here when the elevator was falling. I definitely did not. Would you like to use my phone and call him? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch with him in a minute. Dear, I'm really sorry this happened, but I've got an appointment. i got to go. Would you please keep in touch, keep me posted? I want to know how you're feeling. Sure. Oh, yes. And thank right. you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. Okay, dear. Thank you. Simon? Hey. hey, what are you doing here? Well, 
I was just about to ask you the same thing. I, I went up to the suite to get some things. Oh, really? Because I was just there and I didn't see you. Well, I was in a bit of a hurry. I went in and out the back way. Why? Is everything all right? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. What are you... What's in your bag? Shirts, socks. That's things. Tools. It, it... It's for some work I'm doing at the cottage, all right? Look, I've got to go. I mean, remember, we're supposed to be keeping a safe distance from each other. Yeah, then remember? why wouldn't you do that? Why were you in my hallway screaming at innocent people and threatening Why, well, Henry, oh, come on. I was doing you a favor. Well, that's not your judgment to call. Look, it was a spontaneous reaction. I saw that creep hanging around. I was Henry is not the problem, and you know that. Okay, fine. What is? Someone just tried to kill me. The $99 sale going on now at David's Bridal. Every wedding gown is on sale with select gowns on sale for only $99. Plus every other wedding gown, thousands, all reduced $50 to $300 right now. And with David's Bridal Rewards, take 15% off bridesmaids and flower girl dresses and shoes when you buy your gown. Call now for your appointment for the $99 sale. 1-800-399-BRIDE. Energizer E squared lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and digital cameras. Energizer E squared lithium, do you have the bunny inside? Ooh, the wonderful thing about figures is figure the wonderful things. The tops are made out of rubber, the bottoms are made out of springs. Walt Disney's 25th anniversary special edition of The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, now available on Disney DVD and video, rated G. We are born with skin that's naturally beautiful. Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes help it stay that way. Huggies have aloe, vitamin E, and gentle cleansing helps keep skin healthy, wipe after wipe. Huggies, it's a natural. Tammy the mom and Tammy the homemaker are very busy. This is my problem with the Glad Wrap. It doesn't stick on a wood bowl. It's a ran quick covers. I can't believe the stretch capacity. Wow! This bowl is an unusual shape. Wow, it's snug. This is microwavable. I'm sold. I covered my watermelon. I covered a bowl of grapes. I covered my cakes. It's quick, it covers, and I think they should call it. Wow, Saran Quick Covers. <laughs> now get all three Saran Quick Cover sizes in one convenient new variety pack. How do you know McCormick Grillmate seasonings are right for you? Ask yourself, does the warm glow of charcoal quicken your pulse? Does the scent of sirloin send shivers of excitement down your spine? Do you often mistake the sound of sizzling for the roar of the crowd? Do your guests crave something bold and delicious every time you grill? If you answered yes, grab some Grillmates and start grilling. From McCormick, the taste you trust. CBS Tonight, the survivors struggle to stay on the island. Whoa, whoa. This game takes you through every mental high and low there is. Plus, a surprise visitor joins the tribe, and you won't believe who it is. Get ready for the most emotional survivor ever, and don't miss the elimination vote. There's no way I would give up now. Just three episodes left, CBS Tonight. Friday. I have some exciting news. Your blue ox came home. Catch twice the laughs. I was going to say Dr. Frankenstein built the bride. A special full hour of Raymond, CBS Friday. Here. I don't need that, Rose. It's only a black eye. Yo, come on now. They'll take down the swelling. It's still swollen. Here. Ow, that oh, that bites. What happened to you? What happened? Did somebody steal your spot on this fishing pier again or something? I stopped settling things with my fists a long time ago. But uh, while we're on that subject, I caught four bluefish last week. Did you bring me one? No, I didn't. Uh, hey, why don't you take him out of here? Go clean up that grease. Come on, buddy. Come on, Luke. Get dirty again after dinner. Just make sure you clean up around that sink when you're done. Joe, I got the feeling you didn't want to get into this in front of Luke. You got it. And I don't want you going nuts, you hear? Yeah, I'll make that decision up after I hear what you have to say. I come home late one night, around midnight. As soon as I put my key in the door, I could tell the lock it Jimmy. Uh, did you call the police? <laughs> no, no, he goes in anyway, of course. 
Could I continue? I walk inside, and there's somebody standing right in front of me. Tall, big, big shoulders, chest like an oil drum. And before I could say or do anything, he's all over me. He punched you? Boom, boom! That's it. I go down like a ton of bricks, and he runs out right over me. You're lucky, Joe. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Do you have any idea who it was? I'm figuring there's got to be some hard-up guy who needed a few bucks. Don't be so sure. What are you thinking, honey? Wait, got out about the two million I got stashed. You know, don't joke around, OK? One thing I learned the last few months, when you think something couldn't happen in a million years, it happens. That bit about giving me time is such a crock. You were sickened by the sight of me, and don't try to deny it. I didn't trust myself to stay. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Because another 10 seconds, and I would have taken you in my arms and told you everything that has been building up in me for the last several months, OK? That wouldn't have been fair to you, Carly. Wow. Well, that is a very nice fairy tale. But I still think you are running away from what I look like, from my face, Craig. And I'm not the only person who thinks so. Rosanna, she thought the same thing. She said that? More or less. Well, I, I, I don't know what you expected, Carly. Your sister is the same liar she's always been. Too much kung fu. She's my favorite singer. Not enough skirt. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> Too many uninvited guests. Finding just the right balance for your family can be quite a challenge. But with Angel Soft, the balance is built in. It's made with two Angel Soft layers for just the right balance. So it's soft and strong. Mom! <laughs> Not enough aspirin in the Western Hemisphere. Angel Soft, just the right balance of softness and strength. <laughs> Why do I rent from Enterprise? For more cargo room. More people room. Or more headroom. Enterprise. So easy, it's like having a second car. Or third. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Canker sores hurt all day. I've got to stop the pain and keep it away. Oragel Ultra Mouth Sore Medicine. Only Oragel has two fast-acting pain relievers, plus a unique protective shield against irritation. Sounds great. Oragel. Fast relief, lasting protection. Mama keeps our house sparkling like sunshine. Mama keeps our house fresh like the springtime. Mama keeps our house clean with the magic. Mama's got the magic of... Clorox Cleanup Spray, the only all-purpose cleaner with the magic of Clorox bleach. Even the nastiest set-in stains disappear before your eyes. And no cleaner kills more germs. Clorox Cleanup, there's no clean like a bleach clean. Mama's got the magic of Clorox. Refresh your mouth with an enchanting kiss of five mint flavors. New mint Skittles. Feel the case, taste the rainbow. In this place, I see a lot of gas. I also see a lot of folks taking medicines that don't fight gas. But Gas-X has the most powerful medicine to relieve gas fast. <sighs> Nothing I've seen works faster. Gas-X beats the bloat fast. Wouldn't it be great to have a fresh, clean washcloth from Johnson's every bath time? And wouldn't it be comforting to know it has the No More Tears formula that's milder than any baby soap? And wouldn't it be absolutely perfect if you never, ever had to wash it? Introducing Johnson's Head to Toe Gentle Cleansing Cloths, the best thing to happen to your baby since the disposable diaper. New Johnson's Head to Toe Gentle Cleansing Cloths. Not just gentle, Johnson's gentle. Libby Parsons was convicted of murdering her husband. Now she's out. Hi, Mommy. Hello, sweetie. Daddy. Nick? To prove he was alive all along. Hello. Tommy Lee Jones. Did do something? What are you talking to me for? She's the one with the gun. Ashley Judd. Where's my son? The network premiere of Double Jeopardy, CBS Sunday. Did you call the police, Joe? No, he didn't. Do you mind if I answer that myself? Go ahead. Well, what are you going to do, hold my hand? Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hire a security team to follow you around everywhere you go. I appreciate the concern. From all of us. But this was just a burglary. The neighborhood, sad to say, it ain't what it used to be. Joe, was anything missing? Did they take anything? No. Not. What? 
That's the one thing I can't figure out. The place was a wreck, so I know the guy had been there for a while. But once I cleaned it all up, I realized nothing was missing. sudden the elevator just started to drop i was so scared simon i thought i was gonna die look thank god you're all right okay that's the main thing do they have any idea how this happened well the maintenance guy said it was the hydraulics but i'm sure that i heard someone above me cutting some metal you think it was the cable someone sabotaged that elevator it was no accident Look, Katie, I brought you here. I wanted you at the Lakeview so you'd be safe, okay? I really thought yeah. you'd be safe Well, here. I'm not gonna feel safe until I know who was behind all of this. <laughs> all right, let's talk to Margot. We we've got it, we've got it. We'll tell her everything, all right? I want her to put a guard on you 24-7. We need to do this. So you want to go to the police? Really, that's what you want to do? Yeah, it's time. Yeah, I do. Come on, I'll, dri I'll, drive, I'll drive you down there. No, that's okay. Uh, I'll, um, I'll call Margot from Craig Suite. Okay, I'll come with you. Why? Because I don't want you walking around here unprotected. Look what's happened. I'll be fine. I'll, I'm, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be very, very careful, I promise. I didn't do anything, no. Katie. I swear, it's I had not nothing that, to I, do I, I, with I, I, I this. I didn't say that you did. I never said that you did. I'm just very edgy right now, okay? I'm a little messed up. Okay. That is Bob Hughes, Chief of Staff of Oakdale Memorial. Bob, I have here one George Towns, a.k.a. Dr. Weston. I understand that you've agreed to perform a procedure on Carly and Rose. <sighs> Provided I receive the proper supplies and equipment. Yeah, yes. he wrote out a list. If you notice any problems, let me know. So, Bob, why don't you and Dr. Weston go over the list step by step to make sure there are no questions? Well, that's fine with me. Where should we go? Right here. I don't know what you're doing. Because if this procedure fails, we're going back to the old mill. Only one of us will come out this time. Nice work. Yeah, I think it's now it's time I should call Carly. Jack, um, something you gotta know. Craig was here when you called earlier, and I have a feeling that he might have already Old Carly. Rosanna tried to steal your son while you were off being aged. Do you need me to say anything more? I know exactly who Rosanna is. But she doesn't have any reason to lie to me about you. She doesn't need a reason, Carly. She wants to hurt you. All right? If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word she says. You. Coming soon. I don't you. I don't need you. It's a week of terror, Whoa. mortal danger, <laughs> and what have you done to her? A living nightmare. I know that Emily alive is a big problem. But can anyone survive? What do you propose that we do, James? You're either with me or against me. The wrath. I'll do whatever you want. She's no longer needed. Of James Stimpeck. Finish her off. Did you understand that? As the world turns.